Some people say the metaverse will only be virtual. But one day in the metaverse, doctors will practice high-risk surgeries hundreds of times before they operate on real patients. And students will be transported to ancient Rome and Saturn's rings, improving health outcomes, learning, and more. The metaverse may be virtual, but the impact will be real. Learn more about what Meta is building for the metaverse at meta.com slash metaverse impact. Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for July 14, 2022, the Dodge, Bob, and Weave edition. We begin with that story from the Wall Street Journal as the Washington football team, formerly known as the Washington Redskins and putatively known as the Washington Commander's owner, Dan Snyder, is ducking the congressional subpoena for him to come testify about the corrupt culture that he has had at the various named names for the Washington football team during his ownership. How is he doing this? Well, he has sailed to Europe, and he's sailing around, and he's in a place where he can't be subpoenaed uh, to come testify. Uh, He wants to control the testimony, or rather the all of the questions at the testimony, and of course, the uh, Congressional Committee won't do that. Eventually, he'll have to come back to the United States. It must be really, really, really bad for Brother Snyder if he is afraid to go in front of a Congressional Committee. Uh, Next up, corruption in Iran. I know you're shocked, just shocked. As reported in the Washington Post, um, the corruption is casting a grim light on the year-old presidency of Ibrahim Raisi, a hardline judge who came to power promising to clean up the system. Uh, Cases involving uh, the government are routinely uh, not followed, and the corruption does not seem to have an end point. So um, you can have a theocracy, you can have a dictatorship, uh, you can have an autocracy, but corruption uh, still exists, and power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Uh, Next up from Reuters, the attempt by uh, Christopher Novinger, a Texas financial planner, uh, to get his gag order lifted, uh, his SEC, the gag order in his SEC settlement, uh, was rejected by the Fifth Circuit. But interestingly, in a concurrence, two judges said that this was a prior restraint and that he had agreed to it with counsel. So uh, they were going to let it pass this time, but they basically have invited uh, a lawsuit against the SEC gag order. This has been a part of SEC settlements for quite some time, and if you're part of the FCPA settlement world, you certainly know it's a part of that too. So um, can you settle a case on your terms and then claim uh, it's all BS? Well, that's what a lot of people want to do. And if you go to the Fifth Circuit, they may let you do it. And finally, from the BBC, the a business executives who ran Tokyo Electric Power Company and who were sued by shareholders, that's uh, Fukushima for uh, those in the know, uh, have been hit with uh, $79 billion, that's B with a billion, in damages. So, uh, you know, what's I'm sure they can just uh, throw money in the pot and uh, get that settled. But if you want to hold executives liable... I can't really think of a much bigger way than to hit them with $79 billion in damages going forward. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.